Hi hey everyone, Scott of the Scott Man, and welcome to Tampa, Florida. It's a beautiful day here. It's great to be here in the warmer weather compared to the traditional Michigan winter. So today we're going to be going on a little walking tour of Ybor City, which is a fantastic historic district here in the city of Tampa. It's one of the must-see stops in Tampa when you're visiting here. And of course, if, you're, if you live in Tampa, it's one of the places where you pretty much have to visit at least once. <laughs> All right, so we'll turn the camera the other way so that way you're not seeing me the entire time, and we'll start our walk. So I'm starting over here at the Ybor City sign along 7th Avenue. And we're gonna walk down 7th Avenue, pretty much all the way down like to 21st, and then we're gonna head up to 8th, and then we'll finish up over by Centro Ebor. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll start the walk here. So this is the, the Ebor City Gateway. So a little bit about Ebor City is that the area basically got started around 1886 with the with all the different cigar factories, because that's around the time when all the cigar making industries started here in Ybor City. So yeah, as I was saying, it, yeah, the, the cigar making industry started here in 1886 when the first cigar factory opened up. And it all started with a cigar manufacturer an exile from Cuba named Don Vicente Martinez, Ebor. That's where the name Ebor or Ebor City comes from. Ebor City was known as the cigar capital of the world as people paid a lot of money for hand rolled cigars, which were made here in Ebor City. Ebor City was a booming area with Latin Americans until about the 1930s when the Great Depression hit and which led to a decline of the cigar industry. But, but not, not only Ybor City had a lot of Cubans here come over, but it was also a, a huge melting pot of different other cultures, not only Cubans, but also Spaniards and Italians. Oh, and really quick too, before we, we can't really cross the street just yet. Well, actually, yeah, we can. Because, oh, I know we have to wait. But yeah, we got, there's one of the trolleys that comes in to Ybor City. So what's really cool is that there is a free trolley which goes between Ybor City and downtown Tampa. Like just to the, like to the north of the, of the, Convention Center. Okay, I think he has to wait, so we'll have to we'll have to cross. And yeah, don't be surprised if you hear a bunch of chickens in this video. Just because what's really cool about Ebor City is that there are a lot of chickens. You could consider them to be residents here. But yeah, here at Ebor City you got these beautiful brick buildings. Although, the, oh yeah, there's one of the, there's some of the chickens right now. <laughs> but yeah, I was doing a little bit of walking around before this walking tour just to get a feel of Ybor City and I saw a whole bunch of them. We'll be coming to an area in a little while. We'll be seeing a lot of them. But yeah, all throughout Ybor City, yeah, you also have different like cigar lounges, cigar factories. So like here is one that, for example, so this is a, yeah, you, you're gonna be seeing some of the hand rolled cigars right over there. But yeah, it's like I, I, I don't smoke or anything, so it's not anything that I would really partake in. Just like if I, if I were to even visit Cuba one day, I don't ever see myself smoking a Cuban cigar or anything like that. It'd be cool to see them being made, though. Because it's a part of the culture there. And a part of the culture here, too, here in Ybor City. But what's really cool about Ybor City is they got all sorts of different restaurants, cafes, bars, and nightlife. Even here in the late morning, there's a lot of people out and about. But this will get really busy later in the day. Yeah, like here is one place here. The Bricks got food, coffee, drinks, and music. 
and yet we could safely cross here. Southern Knights. But yeah, I just really love the love the overall atmosphere here in along 7th Avenue. And before we continue, if we pan the camera over here, hopefully it's hopefully it's bright enough. We got a very nice mural. Showing the culture here of Ybor City. Of course, you got the guy smoking the cigar there. Of course, you got one of the Ybor City chickens and, of course, the trolley. So, yeah, that is, that is really cool. <clears throat> so, like, if you're looking to park here in Ybor City, there's plenty of parking opportunities. You got different parking lots, you got parking garages, or you can take the trolley, which is absolutely free, by the way from downtown Tampa. Let's say if you're parked in downtown Tampa and you want to come over to Ybor City for a little bit, you could take the trolley here and then take it back without having to pay a single penny. But at the same time though, you, you'll likely have to pay for parking in downtown Tampa, so. But yeah, just got down here last night from Michigan and I picked a very good time to come down here because it's going to be wicked cold in Michigan for the next couple days. So the entire time while I'm down here, it's going to be nice and warm. Oh, yep, yeah, and here's one of the signs about the Temp Tampa's first cigar factory. Yep. So I'll go ahead and read this because we were just talking about the cigars just a few minutes ago. The first type of cigars produced with clear Havana tobacco were rolled at this site in the Sanchez y Ayac company cigar factory on April 13, 1886. Just, just think of just think of that. And I am going to want to cross the street to the other side of 7th Avenue. But we're going to do that once this light turns green, which should be any second. Yeah, so it's about to turn green, so we'll keep the camera rolling. And yeah, perfect time. We'll go ahead and we'll cross over here. Okay. Las Sayas. And then we'll have to wait for the light to turn green here, which shouldn't be too long. So right across the street, that is the Ritz Ebor. That was built back in 1917 as the Rivoli Theater and was renovated in the 1930s and it became the Ritz Theater. Got her. Don't want to dawdle too much because he's waiting for me. Okay, so anyway, so give it to about this. So it, it actually reopened back in 2008, and there's been a lot of different. Per and, yeah, that was a rather excessive, I have to say. Anyway, so it's a great place for concerts and events, and many highly acclaimed, highly, highly acclaimed performers have performed there like Lady Gaga, Skrillex, Imagine Dragons, Kendrick Lamar, etc. We're eventually going to cross back over the other side, but we won't do that just yet. Okay, so yep. Yeah. Lots of exciting things going on over here. Yep. New York, New York pizza. So, yeah, a lot of different food opportunities. Of course, you can get some pizza over here. And then got another cigar effect. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. La Farona Cigar Factory. So, there's another cigar factory over here. And then another one, Arturo Fuente Cigar. So, so it's like the cigar culture here in Ybor City is still around today. Got the hot wax coffee shop here. Get some coffee and pastries and different things in there, even some beer.
Yeah, definitely a lot busier compared to an hour and a half ago when I was walking through here for the first time today. And then this is Centro Ebor. We'll be coming back here toward the end of the video, so we're just gonna show it really fast and then we're going to In fact, I think this is a good place to go ahead and cross back over the street here. That tattoo shop in there. Hand rolled cigars. It's like they're they're plentiful around here, although that place looks like it's closed for today, or at least right now. But yeah, there's so much to see on both sides of the road, so I'm trying to get as much in as I can. And I just realized I was zoomed in a little bit too much, so go ahead and zoom it back out. Thankfully, thankfully I wasn't zoomed in all that much, but... But yeah, I just love the style of the architecture of the buildings in here. Lots of unique little stores in here, I have to say, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, like the pirate flag there. <laughs> the happiest place on 7th. Yeah, you can tell a lot of places don't open till like much later in the day. So yeah, Southern Bell Country Bar and Grill. Yeah, we're already making good progress. We're at 17th Street already. We're gonna be going four more blocks down, down 7th Avenue. And let's get on the, the this side of the building. We can see a lot more over here. And across the street, we got the Big Easy Bar and Cajun Cuisine. Kind of like a throwback to when I went to New Orleans a little over a year ago when I was doing a road trip down to Mississippi and Alabama. Got more stuff over there. Tattoo parlor. Got a glass gallery, mushroom and hemp dis dispensary. Oh, we gotta take a look at this. We got the bad monkey. Yeah, they don't look like, uh, I can't tell if they're open right now, but it's probably, yeah, more for like nightlife, so. Definitely nothing going on right now. And then over here, you have the most famous bar on the planet, period. You heard me. The most famous bar on the planet, period. You heard me. Yep. Ebor Cigars Plus, the Mojitos House. Get handmade cigars in there. And also, you also put on some music in there too. So yeah, and of course, speaking of music, I gotta talk above the music a little bit. So I gotta just gotta keep on talking, so that way you don't, <laughs> so that way you don't pick up any copyrighted music or potentially copyrighted music in this. So let's just keep on talking as we get over through here. All right. So okay. So I think we're almost past it. At the Italian Club. Yeah, just like I was talking about. It's like yep, Ebor City, like back at its early days, was. And even today is like a huge mixing, mixing bowl for Cuban, Spaniards, and Italians. And you got Gasper's Grotto over here. It doesn't look like it's open just yet. But again, I'm feeling this in a late morning, so there's a lot of people here, but there's a lot more people as the day progresses. Up Carmine's, uh, I think I'm saying that correctly. Flavor of Ybor City, you can get a Cuban sandwich there. Oh, okay, no, that Gasper's Grotto is open. And here's one of our chicken friends right there. So there, there's one of the many chickens here in 
Ebor City. Okay, let's just get my camera to refocus here. It's tilted a little bit. I'm trying to... Okay, I think it's fixing itself, so that's good. This has a built-in gimbal, so it's trying to balance it out a little bit. Got the Demi's Market Import Foods. I'm gonna put it back on me really quick because yeah, I'm trying to strain this out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now it looks a lot better. So now back away from me. <laughs> Another cigar lounge, yeah, got a lot of them here. Okay, and then you got the Ebor City Food Mark, or Food Mark, <laughs> Food Mart. <laughs> It's like, that's the thing with these walking tours. I can't really have bloopers with these. So it's like, I gotta do this almost all in one take for the most part, so. Well, we're already getting close to lunchtime. So people are already outside having some lunch. Even have a Greek taverna here. Acropolis Greek taverna. Good timing. You can go ahead and cross the road here. Yep, you can hear those roosters. Yep, amazing architecture along 7th Avenue here in Ybor City. And yeah, not much going here because yeah, one of the businesses end up moving further west on 7th Avenue. There's the sound of one of the chickens. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. And then I'm gonna stand over here because we got another cool mural for Ybor City. Together will be a better world. So yeah, it's been seeing some cool murals so far in our in our walk here. The Attic Cafe and Bar coming this fall. So lots of new things coming in here in Ybor City potentially later this year. So that's really cool. Got the Stone Soup Company Bar and Grill in there. Looks like they're just some people in there already. So they're just starting out the their day. And got the, the Rose and Seventh Grove over there. And chickens are crossing the road right now. That's right, in Ybor City, you don't even have to answer or even ask why the chicken crossed the road. They just do it anyway. So we're almost to where I'm going to want to start making my way up to 8th Avenue. Naviera Coffee Mills Incorporated. The Flex Sports Bar. Okay, let me fix my camera here. There we go. <laughs> it's like it was staying stationary for some reason, but that's a lot better. Okay, so we are approaching 21st Street. So this is a much busier highway and I'm gonna wanna cross the road momentarily. Because again, as I was saying, I wanna go a block to the north, so. And then over there, that is the Columbia Restaurant. That is a very famous restaurant here in Ybor City. 
And a little fun fact, I'll be going there in a little bit to go get some lunch. Because along with this video, I'm filming a restaurant tour of Tampa. And I'm also doing like a general, like a weekend vlog for Tampa along with this too. So the Columbia restaurant, which you just saw, that is a Spanish restaurant. And that is one of the most famous spots in the Tampa area to get a Cuban sandwich. Because the Cuban sandwich originated here in Florida, not in Cuba, in Florida. And there's kind of like a little bit of a rivalry a little bit between the Cuban sandwiches here in Tampa and the Cuban sandwiches in like the Miami area going down to the Florida Keys. In fact, it's so, so famous is that they even have a parking area for the restaurant a block to the north. All right, so now we're gonna continue down 8th Avenue. We're gonna, we're gonna basically make our way back towards Centro Ybor. But as you can tell, it's a lot quieter over here along 8th Avenue because all the hustle and bustle's on 7th. But yeah, I just love the breeze that's out here today. So yeah, but yeah, this is my first time back in Florida in like six years. Because the last time I came down here is when I went to the northeastern part of the state and I got to visit St. Augustine and Daytona Beach, Florida. It's like I hadn't made a ch chance to come down here until now. But I'm, I'm glad I did because I need a, there's a lot more of Florida I do need to see. And Tampa is one area I've always wanted to come down to visit. And at some point too, I would like to check out more of Orlando because I've only been there so far just for for work like over a decade ago. Never got to go to any of the attractions there. And of course I need to get down to Miami and the Florida Keys. Might be a cool road trip or something at some point. So I have over here, this is the beginning or end of the, of the streetcar, which begins here in the heart of Ybor City and it goes all the way into downtown Tampa. So I got, to, I got to ride the trolley earlier today and it was, I have to say, a pretty, a pretty nice ride. Because I think it took us like about, maybe like 10, maybe 15 minutes to, to go all the way over here. So that's one of the trolleys right there. So the next point of interest we're about to come up to is Centennial Park. So we're gonna be briefly getting off of 8th Avenue. Here's more of those chickens. Although you can also call them roosters too. Although they're, I don't know if they're all roosters because they, they gotta be like mix of roosters and hens or something. Oh, we do need to cross the street here. Ebor City Sushi House. A lot of fantastic restaurants in here, I have to say. And here we are. Welcome to Centennial Park. And I'm sure we'll probably see a lot of chickens over in this area because I saw dozens of them just an hour ago. And yeah, here are some of them right here. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so, so here is Centennial Park. We'll go ahead and we'll, I'll do like a little pan of the park. So it's a nice little central park right here in Ybor City. Nice overall atmosphere in here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pan the camera a little bit just to get a nice feel of the park. Absolutely fantastic in here. And not a lot of people over here, so it's very, very peaceful in here. It's like you could almost sit down on a bench and take a nap if you really wanted to. So we're gonna walk over here really quick. Because earlier I did see a whole bunch of chickens along 9th Avenue, so I'm curious if they're st still around or... Well, yeah, it looks like there's some are, but I don't see as many as I did earlier. I can certainly hear him though. All right, so right in front of us, that is the Ybor City Museum State Park. Inside there, you can learn more about the history of Ybor City. Of course, going back to its early days with cigar making or the cigar making industry. So it's so the museum's located inside the historic Ferlita Bakery, which the Ferlita family began their bakery back in 18, 1896 in the, in the La Joven Fran, Francesca Bakery. The original building, unfortunately, was burned down, but the current one here, which was made in 1923, they continue baking in there until about 1973, and now it's a part of the museum. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the chickens have moved on from this area. Because they, if, you're, if you watch my main vlog for Tampa, there... When I was walking over the same area, there were so many chickens. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> there were so many of them on the street. So it's kind of sad there aren't as many over here for this walking tour, because it would have made us even more extravagant, but that's all right though. At least you can still hear him though. So that is the most important part. So yeah, this is a very good spot to find the chickens here in Ybor City. So I would say if you're, if you're wanting to see the chickens here in Ybor City, definitely come over to Centennial Park. Okay, so then now we're gonna get back onto 8th Avenue. We're gonna head over to Central Ebor. And that's where we'll pretty much get ready to wrap up the, the, the walking tour. And it's probably a good time too because I need to get over to the Columbia restaurant after I finish this video because I do have a reservation in about 15, 20 minutes. So, <laughs> but I think we have just enough time to do all of this. So. We're in, we're in good shape. Because we only have like a couple blocks until we get over to Central Ebor. In fact, I may have just gotten an alert saying, your reservation's in 15 minutes. <laughs> There's a bulky chicken right there. <laughs> Rye Guy's Chicken and Waffles. And then you got yeah, the James Joyce Irish Pub there. Yeah, I'm just loving this nice warm weather right now. <clears throat> and with this gentle breeze too, it's feeling even, even nicer. And of course, another one of the parking areas over there. And coming up in a, like 10 seconds from now, we're going to be seeing one of the trolleys come on by. 
you can probably start to hear it right around now. Yep, there it is. It's really cool that the trolley is absolutely free. It's one of the few areas in the United States where I've noticed that there is some free public transportation. The streetcar here in Ybor City for one, and then back where I'm from in Detroit, Michigan, there's even some free transportation there too, like the Detroit People Mover and the Q Line that runs on Woodward Avenue in downtown Detroit, going up into like the Midtown area. You got game time, watch it, play it, win it. So it's like they got different games in there and of course got a bar in there. So it's a it's a cool place for adults just to have just to play and have a good time, I I'd like to say. That's the people get off the trolley there. All right, and we are now coming into Centro Ebor now. But before we explore the area really fast, I am gonna pass it up just for a few moments. <clears throat> So this is, yeah, Central Ebor. We got a lot of different restaurants and shops right in here. And what's cool is that you even have a second level too with more stuff. But we'll, again, we'll just pass it up for a few moments and then, yeah, right over there, that is the, e, or the Central Ebor Museum. So it's also like the western end of the central Ebor. So we're gonna go ahead and cross the road here. Should probably hurry before the trolley comes on through. Oh, both trolleys over there. And of course the Ebor City Visitor Information Center is next to the museum over there too. So just walk around in here really quick. Go ahead up to the second level. Tickets for Funny Bone. And then got the street food Asian. Street Asian food in there. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool over there. We'll see, we'll, we'll get a better view when we get up to the second floor. So there's different steps you can take to go up. And what's really cool too, which we'll see toward the end of our little walk here in Central Ebor, they even have escalators that you can take to go up and down. So you don't, so if you don't want to walk up or walk up or down steps, you can certainly take an escalator. And up here you got Central Cantina. It's a nice little Mexican restaurant here. And yeah, let's take a look at this. Look how cool this is up here. How cool is that? And yeah, that's an... And yeah, there is one, the, that's, that, that's the escalator that you could take to come up here. Oh, the, oh yeah, that's the Big Storm Brewing and Distilling Company. There we go, trying to get this back to my level here. And of course, that's where we just walked from. We got the end of the trolley 
or the streetcar down there, and of course where Centennial Park is. <clears throat> Oh, here's another escalator that, is that one going up or down? Oh, that one's going back down, so. So we're gonna go ahead and head back down. For a second, that now, nah, we'll keep going this way. So I do wanna cross back over the road. Yeah, this is a very cool area, I have to say. So, as I was saying, yep, Central Ebor is a great place with a lot of restaurants, bars, distilleries, and also a lot of entertainment, too. Because again, as I was saying earlier in this video, it's a popular place for nightlife. Okay, so I definitely want to go back down, but I'm guessing there's not a down escalator over here. So we'll just, we'll just, have, to take, we'll just have to take the steps back down then. So we'll get down there and then we'll go ahead and we'll start wrapping up the video. It looks like yeah, Central Cantina is not open just yet. Probably either later in the day or maybe like at 12 o'clock or something. In fact, yeah, maybe I'll follow those people because I did not walk over there just yet. Oh, Mayday ice cream. Yep, noodle bar. I'm not sure if, I, I think, oh, okay, they said this noodle bar is, I think it's the same place that we saw earlier. And it got some gifts and, gifts and souvenirs in there. All right, and we're back here at 7th Avenue. So we'll get back on the main street and I'm gonna put the camera back on me and we'll get ready to wrap things up. And I'm gonna start walking over to the restaurant where I'm gonna be getting some food. Yep, just love the vibes over here, I have to say. All right, so now we're gonna get the camera on me. So yeah, the Ybor City is a very cool part of Tampa, of the Tampa Bay area. And you definitely have to check out Ybor City because yeah, this walking tour will give you at least an idea of what Ybor City is like, but you have to, you have to actually visit Ybor City to get the real experience because Walking tours like this, they're great showing you around, but they, it's like they don't do enough justice for how cool this place is. So make sure to check out Ybor City on your next trip to Tampa. Well, I hope you enjoy this walking tour of Tampa, Florida here, or Ybor City here in Tampa, Florida. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that we don't miss out on any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from Ybor City, Tampa, Florida.